I'm in the Autopsy Computer Forensics Application Program, and there's other videos in this playlist that show how to download and install this free open source product. And in previous videos, I've gone through various different sections. Now I'm going to take a look at metadata. So what metadata does is it looks for any documents, and these documents could be PDFs, DocX that are Word, any type of document, and allows us to take a closer look at the hidden metadata that's in that document. So for instance, I'll just highlight any particular random file and we'll take a look at the date that it was modified as well as the date that it was created. And we can also see the program, Microsoft Office Word, uh, that it was created in. We see the user ID, the owner, as well as the path. But that's just the beginning. There's a lot of other information here as well. So if I click on File Metadata, then it gives us a little bit more information, such as when the file was last accessed. And we can see when it was changed. We can also see hash information, in case you need to match that up. And then if we scroll down further, we can see information such as created, modified with the uh, time zone. And at the bottom, you can also see additional information such as the size as well as other standard information. I'm going to go to results. Now, again, some of these things are going to be duplicates of what we saw earlier. Others are going to be new information, like we don't see any annotations. If there was any pictures in there with annotations, you would see that there. If you see other occurrences, you may see that the same file shows up in other locations when this scan was done. So we can see that it was showing up in two different cases that came in. So you can see the information there. I'm going to go to where it says text. Here's the actual text that uh, was in the document. And this is just information on how to uh, do something. But you can scroll down and you can read it. Then you can go down further and you can get additional information such as the template that was used to create it, the word count, the total time, and other information that could prove or disprove any type of alibi. If we go into hex, there is some ASCII information off to the right. And if you're an expert in reading hex, then you'll have that as well. And you can go in and see if there's anything funny going on there. But not a lot of people are experienced in reading hex. So this ASCII information that you see here is all stripped out in these other tabs here. So it's really not that important to read this area unless you're really looking uh, with a fine tooth comb to uh, find any types of anomalies. If I right click on the document, I can go to properties, which gives us pretty much the same information that we've seen before. If I right click again, we can see view results in timeline. And this is really useful because you can see right now it's set to a minute. I'll change it to an hour, but you can see anything that was done before or after this document was created. So you can see another document in the list was also created as well. On the left hand side, if you'd like, you can limit file types to specific types of information. You could also limit the events as well such as file system, when the file system accessed it or modified. So that way you can uh, filter out whether it was a user that did it or the file system that did it. If I scroll back up, we can click on limit data sources too. So if you're looking just for specific data sources and there's multiple data sources that you're looking at, then you can specify, oh, do you want just the E drive, the F drive, or you want a specific folder? So you can, uh, if you see multiple copies of this document, you can take a look at the different types of documents, or if the document has the same name as another document, and you can compare the two. You can also search for specific text. So if you're looking for something like, say social security cards you could type in social security hit enter and then if there's anything with the word social security in it then you'll be able to see that as well i'm going to close that we can also right click and choose to view in a new window open with an external viewer but that would require that you have the application to be able to view it you can extract the file so if i click on there i can extract it i'll send it off to my desktop and now it's extracted and I can now see that file right here. Again, it's a docx, so I'll have to have the application to be able to open it. Metadata in this case not only shows the data that was typed in, when it was accessed, anything else like that, it can also show you hidden information if anything such as annotations were put in that the casual viewer would not be able to see. And these hidden pieces of information can be used in an investigation in case any hidden messages were sent from one person to another.